But first, a Roseville teenager under arrest after a fight spirals out of control, leaving one person with critical stab wounds. A fight over a girl appears to be what sparked this violent incident that happened last night in Veterans Memorial Park. That's right, Stephen. Today, officers spent time combing the park in search of weapons. Let's get to Rod Maloney. He joins us live tonight. Rod, the suspect told police that he didn't mean to stab the victim. Yeah, that's one of the many things he told the police, Carmen, a confession essentially. But, you know, let's talk about this for a minute. The boy, the 16-year-old boy who was stabbed, was found over here by the gazebo last night. And he is very, very fortunate to be alive to this today. He's in critical condition right now in the hospital. In the meantime, the 15-year-old boy who allegedly stabbed that boy is also wondering what's to become of him. He's sitting in jail as we speak. Little kids see playground dangers simply. It starts bumping and then your feet get closer to falling off. In Roseville, the air fills with the sounds of the need of a little three-in-one oil. Sadly, another sound of danger at the Veterans Memorial Park, footsteps of police doing a grid search. They and the janitorial staff were out looking for a four-inch switchblade used in last night's stabbing at the Veterans Park. Roseville Police Chief James Berlin says the 16-year-old victim came within a hair's breadth of dying. Well, the doctor said uh, about three centimeters to the right, he would have been dead at the scene. The stabbing happened here after a group of boys gathered at the gazebo and started a loud confrontation, and two boys arguing over a girl ended it. The boy who did the stabbing is 15 years old. They say he threw the knife away while running from the scene. They found him and arrested him nearby about a half hour later, and he has since confessed. Stated to one of our detectives that he didn't mean to stab the, the victim, that he merely meant to scare him when he pulled the knife, and that the uh, situation just escalated to a point and he did in fact stab the other boy. This is troubling news to moms like April Wojciechowski, who knows that you don't send the kids to this park without being there in person. It's really upsetting. We bring our kids here so they can have fun and then you have to worry about, you know, them coming here and getting hurt. It's scary. Now, this afternoon, there was supposed to be an arraignment for the 15-year-old at the juvenile court uh, here in Macomb County. But that was adjourned this afternoon and has been rescheduled for August 3rd. So we're still waiting to see how all of that works out. Back to you. Now, Ron, I know he's 15, so how does it work with uh, adult charges versus juvenile charges here? Okay, well, and that's exactly what Eric Smith, the prosecutor, was signaling here. He's thinking seriously about charging him as an adult. They get five days to hold a juvenile in that instance, and any time in that five days, they could have an arraignment for him as an adult on adult uh, charges as opposed to the uh, juvenile charges, which would come next Tuesday if, in fact, he does that. I suspect it looks like they're going to have something in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, with charges that would be adult attempted murder charges. All right, our Rod Maloney reporting for us live.